All right, guys, this is Kip with Thousands of Roots. Wanted to give you a quick update on the shop barn job that's going on. We also, uh, each vlog, or at least each week, we will give you an update on how Joseph's doing, my little critter. He's being such a good sport. Oh, man, I love that guy. Okay, so, the shop barn. Here is the overhang or carport portion of it. So you can see we got the decking on. So the decking is the part of the, like, roof that's the underlayment where the metal goes on top of that decking so we got all the decking on the whole shop so this whole portion of the shop is going to be where we have our workstation so this is going to be the shop part this whole section here the actual shop part in there that's going to be the milking barn so we got this nice doorway here this nice doorway here come through here and in here is where the milking barn is going to be in this section we're not positive we're going to put like the stanchion section here or over here yet we'll make that decision we're also thinking about throwing like a, a little window kind of skylight deal here to be able to capture as much natural lighting as possible also up on the roof part we're going to be cutting that out and putting these in place of some of the metal so again it'll be barn style um, skylights that we'll be putting in. The cow will come through this big door. It's going to be one of the, uh, the barn style sliding doors. It'll be um, sliding from the outside. And let me show you the roof and how far we've gotten up there. Alright guys, we are so happy to be this far along. Pretty cool deal. You can see the black and the white behind me. What's the black and the white on top of the roof? Huh? What, what kind of craziness is that? Well, the black is your regular roofing paper. That's what you typically use. Well, we ran short on that. So we have all this free vinyl, this white vinyl. And it works perfect for the same reason. The whole purpose of the roofing paper, the tar paper, is for a, a water barrier. So that any kind of moisture that gets underneath your roofing, it hits that tar and then runs off. So this vinyl is going to work just perfect for that. So this is the corner <laughs> and the side on the carport overhang. I'll step over here and show you back the other way. All the way back that way. So here's where we started with the tar paper. And it goes all the way back there. So we've got it dried in. Woohoo! So definitely there was some custom work to do around the tank. I chose to use the tar paper for that custom work because that tar paper was a little bit easier to work with. This vinyl is really, really heavy duty, so it's hard to cut even. So here's the tar paper around the tank. So we've got it nice and tight around there. That's really cool. And there we are for that. One other custom spot that we had was right around our pipe. This is for our water catchment system. And we got that pretty nice and tight as well. See how we had to cut it? It's, it's much harder to cut that stuff. So now it's going to be really easy for us to access our tank. That's our water catchment for our house. I don't know if I've ever shown you in here before. This is what it looks like in here. That block is so that if we ever need to fill it from the spring, we use that block to hold the hose down. And that block as well. That's all those are for, to hold the hose down. If we ever need to bring the hose up here to... Woohoo! And there's the lid to the root cellar. Pretty cool stuff going forward, even though there are setbacks. <laughs> setbacks in life? That never happens. Well, maybe once in a while. Like just the other day with Joseph. But I'll tell you, he is such a good sport. He's doing such a good job. And I will take you in there to say hello to him. Push your Hi, Joseph. How you doing, honey? Dad. You're doing good? Did you get good sleep last night? Yeah. Oh, good. He got hot. He actually got hot? Yeah. So here he is with this cast. Can you believe this cast, you guys? The way it loops over. It loops over here, connects to there, and the whole thing actually goes all the way around his waist. 
front to back, all the way around, to really hold this, really hold this sturdy. I thought this was a handle at first, <laughs> and they're like, no, don't use that as a handle. I know it looks convenient, but it's not supposed to be a handle. Anything you want to say to everybody, Joseph? Cow. Cow? Yep. Yeah. You sure are a good looking, lovely boy. That's a cow. Love you, Joseph. A little bit got all rolled up. Who's going to unroll her? I will. Okay, let's unroll her. She's breathing, but she needs some air, I think. <laughs> There, now you can breathe better, sweetheart. Oh. How did she do that? Good morning. You were a little taco burrito, weren't you? Good morning. <laughs> this is the third morning after coming home. How you doing, Joseph? Good. He wanted to hold his little sister. <laughs> he really hasn't had pain. The worst thing has been the tickles under the cast, huh, buddy? Those are no fun. He has a bunch of little itchies and ticklies under his cast that he can't get to, and it just drives him crazy. But you're doing a good job, buddy. Doing a good job handling it. <laughs> Do you want to say anything to the to our subscribers, people watching? You like running and eating? <laughs> yeah, I think they all know that, huh? <laughs> we sure love you. So this is Kip with Thousands of Roots. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. <laughs>